Hey, what's up guys? Lego Kid here, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at side number 60355, and also called the Lego City Water Police Detective Mission Set. Now, this set retails for $40 in the U.S. This set also contains 278 pieces, along with four minifigures. Now, before we get into the set review, let's go ahead and open this set up. So this is me beforehand and I kind of want to open this set up on camera because for one thing the packaging for this set is a little bit different than other sets. Um, there's no instructions included and the box art opens up a little bit differently. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and open this set up. So um, basically the set opens up kind of like a uh, briefcase is how I would put it. So inside there are five different packages. Um, here's four and... This is kind of like the windshield piece to the one of the builds of the set. And here's package number two. And all there is is just this little advertisement for downloading the LEGO City Missions app. And now that we have everything put together, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the minifigs. And now moving on to the minifigures, starting off on the far left, we have the most common police officer of them all, Duke Detain. And this time around, he doesn't have any new prints or pieces or anything like that. He also has his usual two facial expressions. One is where he's smiling, and the other one is where he has his sunglasses on and also smiling. And then we have a female police officer, and again, she doesn't have any new prints or pieces, and this is the only facial print she comes with. And then we have a police scuba diver, and again, this is a reused torso print and no new leg printing, and this is the only face print he comes with. And then finally, we have a female crook, and she also has uh, no new leg printing or torso print. And she actually has a new face print to this set, or two new facial expressions. One is where she's smiling and also has the crook mask on. And then she also has a stern look on her face too, uh, with no mask. And then the hairpiece for her isn't new either. And to go along with the minifigures, there's also a husky included in the set. And with this set, you do get a decent amount of accessories for the minifigures. So first off, out of the bunch, there is a guitar, some scuba gear specifically for the criminal, some flippers, um, breathing tank, and there's also a, um, a mask or pair of goggles, a camera in green, and there's also a pair of binoculars in green as well. That's actually a new color variant for the piece. And there's also a magnifying glass, walkie-talkie, a golden tea kennel to represent some of the stolen goods. And there's also a trophy, a, um, a green gem too, two gold ingots as well for some more stolen goods, um, two um, microphones as well, a ski helmet for some reason. And this is new. Uh, apparently, this is... Uh, the pair of handcuffs but it's recolored in gold so that's actually a new um, variant for the piece here and maybe lego should add more of these pieces in more lego city sets like the golden handcuffs there's also a pair of regular handcuffs too and a camera and there's also a, a metal detector some more scuba gear specifically for one of the police officers and then two life vests. Um, there's also a new two by two printed map piece as well, or a treasure map. There's also a remold of the 2014 police hat piece without the badge on the front of it. So that's actually a good remold of the old uh, police officer hat piece. Two bananas as well, I don't know why. And there's also a flashlight. So um, this is actually a pretty decent amount of accessories for the minifigures you get in the set. And the crook also has this little water scooter build as like her getaway vehicle. So at the front, there is a propeller which you can spin around. There's also um, some headlights at the sides. And at the back, there's also a handlebar piece. So now moving on to the first three builds of the set. First off, we have this underwater ruin for 
hiding some of the treasure, like maybe one of the uh, trophies or the gem. And there's a pedestal which you can place one of those items on. And at the back, there's also an anchor kind of swaying around. And what you could do is you can actually hold the anchor in place by simply um, pulling this one broken light fixture forward, swinging the anchor to uh, its position, and then pushing this light fixture back. And like that, the anchor is actually um, simply being held in place there. Uh, the thing is, the anchor is actually very loose, and it can come off very easily, just so you guys know that. Um, but other than that, the feature works pretty well. There's also a piece of coral growing on top of it. And now moving on to the second build, here's kind of like a um, display for two of the trophies and also the gem as well. And finally, here is like a jail cell for the criminal. And at the front of it, there is a new printed one by one lock piece and you can open up the door and uh, yeah, that's really it. So um, all you can do here is just uh, place the crook inside and transport the jail cell wherever you want to. So um, that's it for the first three builds to the set. And moving on to the fourth build, we have the police boat itself. And starting off at the front here, uh, the boat does have a recurring print, which is the printed police badge and the police slogan. And right behind that, there is a round uh, jumper tile. And maybe you can place like a siren on it. And the boat is outlined with the bright, vibrant yellow colored bricks. And on both sides at the front, uh, there are some clips which you can maybe attach like uh, maybe one of the antennas or like an accessory. Um, on the sides as well, there are some open studs which you can uh, uh, place some bricks on to maybe build up your speedboat and make it look cooler. Same thing on the other side. And uh, inside the boat, there are three seats which you can see uh, all three of the minifigures or maybe like three of the cops and one of the crooks maybe. Um, there's also a steering wheel, that's it, and at the back there are also some more studs which you can place some more bricks, and at the very back there are some more studs and along with three Technic pinholes. So that's it for the build of the police boat. And here are all of the bricks that are included in the set. So first off, uh, right away there is this big windshield uh, piece to kind of make the speedboat turn into a submarine, sort of. There's also two pairs of wheels to kind of make the boat like a multi-terrain vehicle. There's also a water tile launcher, and by pressing down at the back, then the tile will uh, launch. And there's also some electrical spark pieces. And there's also this new uh, jetpack holster piece in the uh, bright, vibrant yellow color. And some of the wing pieces in the same color and the engine pieces in the same color as well some dark gunmetal gray uh, exhaust pipes and this is a new piece this is a printed police shield which is actually very new to the set and i kind of like the print for it it kind of reminds me of the elite police sub theme from 2020 a little bit and maybe this piece could be used in future lego city sets i'd actually love to get this print again there are also some of these uh, red rocket pieces as well. Um, some of these uh, gray uh, advanced binocular pieces is how I would put them. Some turbines and uh, engines and um, some of these like tabletop pieces in the light blue. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for some of the bricks we get here. I'm not going to go through every single brick, but all of the bricks uh, that are included here are pretty much all reoccurring bricks from past LEGO sets. So anyways, let's go ahead and build up a speedboat with these bricks. So here is just one of the speedboat builds I put together. So um, first off, I used both of the clips at the front to have the uh, antennas on. There's also a siren at the front too. Some of the binocular pieces at the back and also both of the vibrant yellow colored wings. And at the very back, I have a pretty big bulky engine for the speedboat. Some flames and also some of the uh, wing pieces at the sides too. And underneath them, I have the gunmetal gray exhaust pipes. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the first build I put together. Now this next build isn't one I thought of. It's actually an official Lego build that they show on the back of the box. 
And now that we're done going over all of the builds, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box art, the instruction booklet, and my final thoughts. So for the box art, at the beginning, I said it kind of looks like a briefcase, kind of. So um, what I really should have said is that it kind of reminds me of a advent calendar because of the way it opens. So like any box art at the front, here's all of the set information. And at the back, there are also some more action shots to the set, along with some official Lego builds. And uh, you can open this box back up and you can put all of the stuff in the set back in the box to kind of transport your set around wherever you go. And since you guys already see it, this isn't really the instructions because the instructions are actually on the mission app itself. And this is just a flyer with a QR code to scan for the mission you're doing. And with everything that comes in the set, you're able to play around in the new LEGO City Missions app by having a more hands-on experience with everything that you get here, like the bricks and putting together your own little speedboat build out of all of the stuff. So, um, honestly, I actually tried the app out myself, and it's pretty decent, uh, I like the idea behind this set, kind of it being like a um, hands-on experience sort of thing, or um, maybe some people will see it as it being like a parts pack. To me, I kind of see it as both, but I'm probably more of it being like a parts pack, whatever. So um, yeah, overall, this is a pretty decent set for $40, and I like the idea behind it. It's a pretty fun uh, app and set to get, so... Uh, anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Please make sure to subscribe, like it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.